and Means Committee. Gentleman is recognized Mr. for one minute. Doggett. For the wealthiest few, Republicans don't just aim to eliminate the misnamed death tax. They want the death of all taxes. They've got some exit strategy, not for our troops sacrificing their all and facing death in Iraq, an exit strategy for billionaires from the tax burden that they should share to support our nation. For whom do they spell relief today? Minimum wage won't raise it. Gas prices won't cut them. Drug prices won't lower them. Veterans health care can't cover them. Student loans, Medicaid, Medicare, cut, cut, cut. This is truly a cut and run Congress, cutting relief for most Americans while running up a huge deficit to finance more billionaire tax breaks. Will you benefit from these new tax breaks today? Well, take this quiz. Do you play Yahtzee or maintain a fleet of yachts? Do you wear a hard hat or a silk top hat? Do you drive a pickup or own a gallery of Picassos? Do you pump gas by the gallon or sell it by the barrel? The gentleman will have another minute. I yield one minute to the gentleman from Texas. The gentleman is recognized for an additional one minute. Only if the answer is the latter for all of these questions are you likely to be among the handful of America who benefits from not having to pay a tax that Teddy Roosevelt, back when there were a few Teddy Roosevelt Republicans, called a key to not having us copy the landed aristocracy of the European continent. This bill today goes beyond fiscal irresponsibility. It is true fiscal insanity with burden upon burden to be piled upon our children and grandchildren. Mr. Thomas is correct that it is a compromise, but only in the sense that it compromises our families and our nation's future and strength. I yield back. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The gentleman from California. Uh, Ms. Speaker, it's now with great pleasure that I yield two minutes to a colleague, someone